going uh, to work that day and um, it's hard to believe that at 6.15 in the morning that somebody would randomly attack this individual from behind and, and almost kill him. Members of Edmonton's Ukrainian community in shock, learning the victim of Thursday morning's random stabbing had just fled the war in Ukraine, arriving in our city a week and a half ago. A childhood friend says Ivan Pilichuk was waiting for a bus transfer near Milburn Road on his way to a new job in construction when someone approached him from behind and stabbed him. Ivan didn't know this person like he, like, no chance he would know him, let's put it this way. The 48-year-old father had just enough time to call 911 before collapsing, rushed to hospital for surgery, police still looking for a suspect. You know, in early days of arrival of a family, a newcomer family, to be stabbed, um, it was very traumatic. It's very hard for all of us. The president of the Ukrainian-Canadian Congress, Alberta Provincial Council, has been in touch with Ivan's wife, Yulia, and are helping the family find housing and other supports. A fundraiser has already surpassed its goal, but the news is impacting the wider community. It's it's uh, really uh, uh, important for us. We want to be safe. Talking about the war zone in her home country always elicits tears in Olana Mashchenko. While the random attack is unsettling, she still believes she's safer in Canada and sees firsthand the supports to evacuees volunteering at the Ukrainian free store, helping over 400 people a week access donated items, right now in need of toiletries and diapers. When the uh, Canadians bring the donations here and we will speak with them, uh, it's really important because uh, they hug us <laughs> and they pray for us. Hoping the Pilichaks will soon feel the same thing. A friend of Ivan telling City News they have been overwhelmed by the support and that Ivan, out of surgery Thursday afternoon, is still in intensive care Friday. A support for the days and weeks ahead as the surgery will require some time uh, to recover. Boychuk knows with Ukrainian Easter this weekend, many will be thinking of Ivan, stressing the UCC will be there to support the community as a trusted agency, in the past having held safety sessions for newcomers with police. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.